Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how engineers actually validate their engineering designs with finance elements analysis. So I'm just going to run you down through it very quickly so I don't waste your time. Because if anybody is curious to know, okay, you know, how do they come about approaching their problem? This is the video that I will basically tell you in a very brief, in very, tell you very briefly on how we get it done. So first thing, the first things first is we know that this brackets that we've designed, we've modeled in Autodesk Inventor, for in Autodesk Inventor, is it needs to be held by screws and it needs to be. I need to know if it's strong enough. Now the entire frame, this entire frame is pretty lightweight, but it the entire frame weighs around maybe fifty kg right now. But this arm, right? Let's see how much it weighs from from the from the from just the design. So the arm weighs um twenty two point seven five kg. That is almost half the weight of the entire frame, which is pretty crazy. That is. This is not efficient. It's going to cost too much money to actually make, and it's going to, it's too heavy. It's way too heavy to actually, for the, it's, 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 I mean, I predict that it's going to work by when I do the strength analysis of it with finest elements analysis. I believe it's going to work, but again, I'm going to still verify and test it out to make sure it's going to work and know where I need to add and where I need to subtract material from this design. Right, so I'm gonna load. So right now, I've decided to, I've decided to basically add constraints here. If you can see these constraints, right? Constraints are what holds stuff in place. So you can know that you whatever you're doing is gonna be statically determinant. It's not gonna move. So you, because you're trying to test it in a situation where it's not moving, and you're trying to see if it actually is able to withstand a certain load so i'm gonna i've added gravity with this g like normal earth gravity and also i've added a load here on this cylinder if you click if i click on the load here the load is basically um it's approximately 1.6 tons so it's just to validate and test whether it works it's a pro it's an approximate of maybe 1.6 tons of load so i'm just gonna mesh it i've done the mesh settings before so this is how a mesh actually looks like when you finally make it it gets like a model and tries to basically final elements analysis basically just tries to solve for the stresses at, in very small portions of the model because in real life, hand calculations of, s of certain things would be kind of difficult to do, but it, you would be able to do it very like easily with finite, with FEA and FEA softwares, right? So I'm not dealing with a non-linear material. I'm just dealing with a very a linear material. So let's see what happens by checking the simulation run. So the solution is complete. We just wait for it to not crash. So, so now we're checking the um, Von misses, and it's telling me here that the place that maximum stress is happening is going to be where the bolts are going to be be held, right? Which is what. Um, I expected because the bolts are going to be held. So, but all these now let's check safety factor because it's one thing to know the stress that's applied. Again, these stresses are very little. Seventeen megapascals is quite little on this design. And this that video view, by the way was exaggerated. This view is not exaggerated now. But basically, it's basically letting you know that the maximum stress, sorry, the minimum. The minimum safety factor, which is saying that it's 14 times stronger than it needs to actually be, which here is here. But that means that everywhere else is very, very safe. 
so i don't need it to be this strong because it weighs too too much so how what i then do is i go back to my my original design i make some changes obviously to the geometry and go maybe and i'll just make some changes just some brief changes i'm um, sorry One second. Um, and now I've basically optimized the design and I would like to see if it's able to withstand that same force that I applied on before, on it before, before that actually. Now I've actually optimized the design, I would like to see the same force that it's that has been applied on it to whether to see it if it's gonna work and suppress future and i've added a fillet here so to make sure that it's able to support it properly generally you don't want sharp corners in things like this even in real life because again in fe it's gonna give you an error and in real life it's gonna it's not just gonna work it's gonna start failing from that area that's a failure point so um again with the constraints the same constraints to simulate where the screws are going to be hold this bracket into place. Um, I need to remesh it. Mesh controls. Edit. Okay. Selected faces. I need to apply the faces of my mesh controls. Um, yeah. I don't want to end up doing this bit again. It's because I want to make sure that the it's kind of like saying that i want the resolution of this this these surfaces to be better because i know i want to get more accurate results so that's it um where the where did i mess up here uh delete this face so I just wanted these surfaces to be more refined. So I'm going to just remesh this quickly. Re generate, generate a mesh again. And we wait to see if when it's going to finish. So basically, right, and also I forgot to mention, the way these constraints were set up is that the screws are going to be holding it into place, but since it's also going to be resting on the back, that back is going to prevent it from moving this way, you know, in the Z direction. The, um, this is my axis here, so it's going to prevent it from moving only in the Z direction, just to get a more, because again, your job as an engineer is going to be able to assign proper boundary conditions to your problem. So, now that we've done this, we can actually finally run the simulation and see what actually happens. Now, I don't even know what weight. I don't even know how much this bracket weighs currently. So, we're just trying to get a, a proper value. So now, it's telling me that the place where I have the maximum stresses, let's see, is going to be here, which is going to be a safety factor of 1.839. Obviously, this simulation will need to be rerun again to get to reaffirm our results, which I'm going to do so right now. So it's telling me that the minimum safety factor here is 1.36. To be honest, this is not too bad. And basically, the design is almost validated. But in real life, right, this is a, a means for concern because there might be something called fatigue that would happen. It happens randomly. So 
Fatigue is something is another kind of failure that can happen by cyclic loading, loading that happens repeatedly over time. Like when you go up a bump, when you don't go up a bump again. Let me save this. Let me save this. And if you let's say you're going up a bump, let's say this is supposed to be a swing arm, like um, brackets. So when you go up a bump, when you don't go up a bump, the load will happen, you know, in different ways so it's, it can happen up it can happen down it depends on how when you're driving your vehicle because this is supposed to be a chassis for a vehicle when you're driving your vehicle how it's supposed to react so definitely 1.39 is still safe that means it's 1.3 times safer than i want it to be right it's still pretty close but you can make it much better in you can make this much better you can improve on upon this design if in fact i'm gonna do, improve upon this design one more time so definitely the one thing you don't want to do here is you know that this fillets are not strong enough it needs to be bigger so it needs to be bigger so that it's able to withstand the force withstand the force that you're doing with it so what i then want to do here is just change the size of these fillets so you know how big in, in real life they should kind of simulate welds and stuff but yeah you know you can also you in real life you would be using weld calculators and stuff like that so um, that's it again this is exaggerated but let's just go to display this now we finally reached our design goal right it's finally reached our design goal our design goal was to get it above 1.8 so that we know that it's 1.8 times safer than it's supposed to be and this is how engineers generally approach problems to know how things how strong something is obviously in real life there's still more tests you need to do on this part you need to do fatigue analysis you need to do normal modes analysis you need to, it's basically vibrational analysis to know if it's if after a certain number of cycles it's gonna when it's gonna break how long this it's gonna last or if it's not gonna break at all from cyclic loading you need to do all these other analysis alongside this in real life but this is just for the is it strong enough yes it's strong enough to get the job done so thank you very much this video is completed this brackets is completed for now thank you